Hey guys, welcome to Taste Buds. Today we have a very special guest. I'm excited to introduce to our viewers the original famous female dole player in Dallas area, Texas. She is a very dear friend of mine and she has agreed to be on the show to share her favorite recipe. Welcome Sonia aka Sony Dolly to our Taste Buds by Anubi channel. Hi Sonia. Hello. Welcome to my show. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. It's a privilege to share this recipe with you guys. It's very near and dear to my heart. It's something we cook on the normal basis for my kids. They absolutely love it. So I'm happy to share chicken sag with all your viewers. So today. there are three components to the dish. Mm -hmm. There's the chicken, there's the spinach of course, and then there's the tarka. So we're going to first start with the marinade for the chicken. So the first thing I'm going to use is uh, yogurt and I like to use the thickest part of the yogurt because we want it to be not as watery when, so it sticks to the chicken better. So I'll take some yogurt here. And then to this I'm going to add the tandoori masala. Now in the tandoori masala there's a few different uh, things that you use here. First is the tandoori base masala that you can get from any Indian store. Mm -hmm. And so then what else is in it other yeah. than the tandoori? So per your taste you can add on additional salt, you can add on uh, some lal mirchi, some black pepper, okay. uh, chaat masala adds a lot of uh, chaat pata type plate that. taste. That's all. but you also want to look for a thick sort of consistency. You want it to be not too liquidy, again, for binding and then for flavor as well. I'm going to add some oil. Okay, that's great. Anything else? Yep, so I'm going to add some ginger garlic paste and just like every Indian household, I have my own containers that I always keep on hand. So we've got some fresh ginger and some fresh garlic to add to this, just to give it a little more fresh flavor. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I'm using boneless chicken breast here. Mm -hmm. Think about the size of the chicken, right? You want this to cook evenly, so I always like to cut off the tail here. Okay. And as far as how you want to cut this, so what we're going to end up doing is grilling this chicken for some nice uh, marks. And so I always find it difficult to grill smaller pieces of chicken. Mm -hmm. So you want it to be a little bit large, and if we want to cut it later for the actual uh, subsy, then we can uh, do that later. So I like to keep it fairly big, again for grilling. Mm -hmm. And then I am using a fork here, of course, and that serves as a double purpose because I can actually poke holes in there so that the marinade fully gets absorbed gets into the chicken mm -hmm. because it's a pretty thick piece and right. all the moisture and everything will get trapped in there. Okay, so next component here is the spinach. Give me a hand here, if you like. Um, and what I like to do is I give it a quick rinse. The entire? Yeah, we can put all of this, yeah. Because spinach always ends up being a little less. And like I said, this is a favorite, so. Okay. <laughs> With the amount of chicken we have, this will be so good. So it's the only spinach as a leafy vegetable that will be used for the sock, or do you have any more other vegetables that go with yeah. it? Yeah, this is, that's a good question. It's more of palak sag than it is or anything like that. So okay. it's just plain fresh spinach. Okay. Um, and what I'll do is I'll give this a quick rinse in the sink and the amount of water from the rinse itself when mm -hmm. you take everything out will be more than enough to make sure that it cooks okay. um, but is not too much water so it doesn't get too liquidy because we're going to emulsify that down. So guys we are on to our third step. So Sonia um, what is our third step now? So now we're going to actually prepare the tarka masala. Okay. So mm -hmm. we're going to just go with our onions, tomatoes, so we can start creating the base. Okay. All right. All right. So, so let's start with, with the that. onions. So while you're chopping the vegetables, Sonia, I would want to know how did you develop the interest into playing the dole? Yeah. So let me wipe away my tears here for a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a good question. So I actually uh, started playing dole. It's been, I'm going to age myself now, but it's mm -hmm. been about 20 years. Wow. And I started in my basement. Um, I used to just love listening to Punjabi music. I used to love dancing to Punjabi music. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, went shopping one time to uh, with my grandfather and my buas and everyone in India. Mm -hmm. And they were like, hey, what do you want to buy? And of course, you know, everyone was all interested in buying clothes and 
when they asked me, I just wasn't interested in that. So mm -hmm. I thought, you know, uh, I've always wanted a doll, so get me a doll. Mm -hmm. And they were like, <laughs> you know, as they say, especially, uh, you know, it's just not something that women in general. Not only women, like. but, you know, in general, it's just not something that's considered high society, right? True. And so I said, yeah, I like the music and it sounds good and why not? So my grandfather being amazing as he was, he was like, yeah, so what? You know, well, if that's what she wants, then that's what we'll get her. And he surprised me with it on my last day. Wow. in India so you can see here um, the water is just enough here it's not too much but it's enough to blanch all of the spinach properly we are ready to cook the masala yeah. oh, wow, <laughs> all right so we'll that's let where that. the taste comes from that's right so. it's healthy ghee is actually one of your healthier fats yeah. too so uh, we'll add a chamach of that. Jira? Jira, yeah, you can add a little proper chamach. One more. A little bit more. There you go. Okay. okay we'll let that Ooh, and to this we'll that. add the onions mm -hmm. once it changes a little color. So Sonu, we already talked about how you developed the interest uh, for Dhol. Um, so how did you learn it actually? So, you know, I get a lot of requests. People ask me, can I teach them to play? Wow. And my answer usually, sadly, is no, because I actually haven't properly, formally trained to play. Okay. Um, so, you know, back when I first started, when I got the Dhol back from mm -hmm. India, I didn't know anything about it and we didn't have YouTube videos or that time any way to learn it exactly. so I used to listen for the music I used to listen for the sound how many bass beats are there how many treble beats are there Wow and I used to count and I used to just slowly for hours and hours just bang away trying to figure out what the beat was Wow. and then it was just repetition 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 so I've actually been self-taught then, so I learned it myself. Yeah, I picked it up. That's a lot and of hard work, you know. I, you know, I, it, it's really very impressive. Thank and, you. And uh, and I think which is why you are like an original female and so famous uh, in Dallas. And I know you have been to a lot of uh, gigs with uh, various celebrities. Can you share your experience with us? Yeah. So you know, it's uh, I've been blessed definitely. You know, I I picked it up over time and I got better and better and. I was lucky enough to share the stage with Ritik Roshan. Um, then I've also opened for Jacqueline Fernandez. Wow. I played with Sanya Malotra. She had come down for a yoga fest. Mm -hmm. um, I also did uh, Fawad Khan. That was a, a fun New Year's Eve party. Maybe some of the Dallas folks would remember that. You know, all the barats that I've played for, they're no less than celebrities as far as I'm concerned as well. So yeah. Such a different, uh, a different sound. Uh, like, you know, when you go for a DJ, the DJ is playing, you know, nice music, but when the dhol gets added to the music, it just takes it to another okay, So this looks perfect. The onions have cooked down and they're starting to caramelize. They've got good color. Mm -hmm. um, so at this point, we're going to add the masalas. So um, I'm going to, we've already got a lot of good flavor in the chicken, but that's good enough for the chicken only. So now we need to add flavor for the actual sag. Okay. Um, so I'm going to add in a good helping of dhania. Add some jita. Heavy, not too much, just for color. Add some spice. Okay. Give it a mix. And yep, if you can give that a quick mix. And while you're doing that, also add in your green chilies. I can get the flavors. The aromas are coming yeah. through. And then before that burns, we're going to go ahead and add the tomato. tomatoes in there. Now it started looking so colorful. On the chicken, you've got a couple of different options. Okay. Um, if you've got a grill pan, you mm -hmm. can do that. I like to get those nice charred colors because mm -hmm. in the green, you'll get that pop of the red. Right. And then when you see those lines, I think that's beautiful. And you always yes. eat with your eyes first, of course. Exactly. If you don't have a grill pan or if you don't want to go through that effort, once this cooks down, we can move this aside and use the same pan and put the chicken in here, cook that down. If you're going to take that route, I would suggest you cut the chicken into the pieces that you want to bite into right. ahead of time. Right. But since we prepped the chicken for the grill, we're going to use the grill. Okay.
So the chicken is done. You can see all these grill marks and that's going to really look nice once we actually cut in here. While you are uh, cutting the chicken, Tell me what is your favorite uh, dhol gig that you have done so far? You know, if I have to think about one that stands out, I would say the show that I did last year with Guru Randhava. Wow. Hands down, that was really? my favorite. So uh, what, is, what is good about it or different about it? Yeah, so in that show, you know, I opened, um, we had three of us dholis and I mean, being on that stage in front of his audience was just electrifying. So well, it's my favorite time of the video, which is the tasting time. So I'm going to taste some chicken. This looks so amazing. Moment of truth. <laughs> wow. It's such a fine and amazing dish. It's more like a fusion too. It has the tandoori chicken in it and also this palak blended together is is taking it to another level um it, it's it's really good i i really love it um thanks for good. sharing the recipe sonia yeah. and uh, i think you can eat it with uh, roti uh, rice yeah naan paratha whatever it just goes with anything and the consistency looks so perfect um so guys um thanks for watching the video you know, I'm sure this is an amazing recipe that you would definitely want to try. Um, and uh, Sonia, good luck for your, um, you know, your future dhol gigs and Thank um, thanks for being on my show. Absolutely. It was a real pleasure. I'm glad I got to share this with your viewers. So thank you so much for watching. So guys, um, until next time, bye-bye.